So what's going on guys, my name is Violent. I got a theory for you today. We're going to be talking about Black Ops 3 Zombie and how Mob of the Dead may have more in this big puzzle, which all revolves around one big circled question. Have we broken the cycle already? Let me present this to you, and then we'll ask that same question again. Four prisoners at Alcatraz, Finn O'Leary, Albert Arlington, Salvador DeLuca, and Billy Handsome are trapped in an endless loop. A portal is opened in France with the Maxis drone, opening up a new realm of possibility. But this time, the trip that they take as they're trying to escape Alcatraz prison turns out to take them into a different location. This location is Shadows of Evil. The resting place of the plane on the giant, in my opinion, is left over for them to continue more of the storyline. We know that the plane fractures through different universes. This is a time that it's going through another infinite loop when the portal in France is open. So we're teleporting in Zetsubu no Shima. As this Easter egg's going on, we're completing the cycle. We're going to collect the blood vials from both the prisoners, bring the blood back. All of our characters now have blood vials on their character. Meanwhile, the Mob of the Dead crew is still fracturing through dimensions. Jason Blundell told us to trust Richtof and he's doing the right thing. When completing the cycle, three of our characters, Sal, Billy, and Finn, actually kill Weasel, and that's how you complete the cycle. But what you're seeing is us breaking the cycle. This is gonna be important later on. But for now, let's focus on our three main characters, Sal, Billy, and Finn, killing Weasel, because that still allows Richtof to take the blood vials. So we teleport back. All of our characters now have blood vials on them. Richtofen remains the same two blood vials. You'll see that Dempsey has it right next to him in his waistband. It's interesting because now we all of a sudden have these blood vials and it seems that there's a greater plan. Well, what is that greater plan? It's actually to drink the blood vials that are cursed. It's cursed blood from another dimension that they need to drink. Only the cursed survive. So they drink the blood vials. They drink one of them. There's a pair of two. The portal in France is still open while this happens. They go ahead and complete the Easter egg while having the blood inside of them. This resets everything back to normal. The land is good again, and now Richtofen is confronted with the master himself, Dr. Mani. The blood vial is now empty, we have one blood vial left, and that blood vial could be used to save their remaining life that you're seeing before you. Now, completing the cycle only works if Richtofen can obtain the blood vials. Let's pretend for a second that he can't. And in that instance, we would have Albert Weasel Arlington that you're seeing with Al's hat on right now. That's located in Revelations. The cycle is broken. Destroying that opportunity, not allowing Finn O'Leary and Salvatore De Luca to survive. If he were to kill those two guys, as we know, those are where the blood vials originally came from then this wouldn't be possible. Since our characters all have blood vials, we can safely assume that a lot of blood was taken, making Billy Handsome also important to this picture. Let's entertain the idea of cursed dimensions and how they relate to missing gaps where Monty may not be able to foresee dimensions. These dimensions are gaps, they're exceptions to the rule, and Richtofen has found that out through the book called The Cronorium. The gameplay you're about to be watching was recorded from my Xbox 360 on OBS, and I have realized now that to record on 360, recording with Elgato is just better quality, so I'm going to be doing that in the future, and this is reused gameplay, but it's Mob of the Dead, and it fits the theme of the conversation. So this leaves us in quite an interesting spot. We've completed Black Ops 3, we've beat Revelations, we've also gone back and played Mob of the Dead. We continue to do this over and over, a lot of people continue to play Origins, and we're left with a few questions that are just unanswered. And maybe they're unanswered for a reason, and maybe Mob of the Dead is so important as Jason Blundell has stated numerous times to the storyline, because this is where it breaks and this is where it continues, and it all comes back to the pinnacle moment of if we kill Weasel, or Weasel kills us. And that is the deciding factor if Richtofen even gets the blood vials to begin with and makes these cursed dimensions possible. This theory that I have here is not my own. This is a theory by Crash Power and I will have him linked in the description box below. I just thought it was so interesting that I wanted to bring it to you guys and get your opinion on the Black Ops 3 storyline with Mob of the Dead. I do think there is a reason that Black Ops 2 backwards compatible for Xbox is delayed. A lot of people think this might also be coming to PS4. 
I'm pretty pumped because I want to play Origins on the next gen consoles. But at the same time, we have heard reports that Activision is not going to be releasing Black Ops 2 backwards compatible at the beginning or the summer of this year for the reason that it's going to conflict with interests in their content releasing schedule. Now this covers all of the Call of Duty titles because Activision umbrellas all of it, dude. Destiny 2 is coming in fall and that's an Activision game as well. So they have their hands in quite a lot of different areas. And Black Ops 2 will take the thunder of something that they're going to release. We know in the fourth quarterly report for 2016 that DLC is coming to Black Ops 3. We've gotten the new weapons. We got the Galil and the Ballistic Knife. Is that the DLC that they're talking about? I personally am a DLC 5 believer. I think new game modes also need to be introduced with that package in order for us to get a better experience to keep zombies lasting. That's the biggest problem is that zombies will die and fall and continue to fall in the numbers of people watching. We already have the answer. It's new game modes and customization with what we would consider grief characters. This is the biggest push that I'm putting on my channel. I do patch notes so you can always stay up to date and that's what I want you guys to subscribe for. Every now and then I'll throw out a theory and in this one I'm trying to answer the question have we broke the cycle already and that's why we're seeing the results that we're seeing in Black Ops 3. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and drop a like on this video if you learned something or you're just generally interested in this theory. I'll see you guys in the next one. Violent out.